this is where we are going to do the test firing um, to get our distance tests. We're, we're going to fire our suspect firearm um, using both suspect ammunition and laboratory ammunition for comparison. And we're going to fire into our test fabric at known distances. What's the difference between suspect ammunition and lab ammunition? There was ammunition that was submitted with the suspect revolver. Um, so this is ammunition that was actually uh, removed from the cylinder of the revolver at the time. We need to test fire laboratory ammunition along with the suspect ammunition because the ammunition that's used has a great effect on the residues that are left on the surface. So it's a reproducibility. We don't have a lot of ammunition from the scene. We have a lot of lab ammunition. So we want to make sure, although we've gotten the same type of ammunition, we want to look at the reproducibility of our ammunition uh, to the suspects. This particular revolver is not the one that was collected for evidence. When we did the actual testing, it was indeed the revolver that was uh, submitted by the law enforcement agency that was collected at the time. This is actually a firearm from our laboratory collection. We keep a firearms reference collection, and where they're from is they're actually from actual cases th throughout many years. Once the, the, the criminal case has been finished, um, many of those firearms will actually be, end up being destroyed. You really want to try to limit your variabilities. That's why you want to make sure that there is reproducibility between uh, the same ammo uh, that we're using and that the suspect uh, has. That's why we use the same gun. The, what we can't reproduce is skin. So there's clearly variability between twill and skin. So you, you want to reduce every other variability. So you'll be firing into the twill how far away? At the time that we did the test, we used the actual evidence revolver, and we used both evidence ammunition, which we had a limited supply of, and we fired tests at 1 inch, 3 inches, 6 inches, 12 inches, and 18 inches. You shoot, you look at the pattern, and you want to get the two brackets where it's definitely greater than and the larger one out definitely less than. And uh, that's what we looked for first, so the one inch and the 18 inch. It was definitely within those. We don't know exactly um, how skin reacts compared to the white cotton twill. So therefore, we're, we're developing a conservative bracket. And we're looking for those end brackets that are obviously different than what the pattern was in the skin. Uh, how accurate is this test? Uh, I think it has a range. It's not going to be one to one. It helps you. It's a tool, just like anything else. It's a tool. It's not an answer, uh, per se. That's why we have to give a bracket. Uh, it is accepted. Uh, scientific Working Group accepted this methodology for giving a rough uh, range.